When a drawing pin is dropped, it can land point down or point up. Lucy, Mel and Tom each drop the drawing pin a number of times. The table shows the number of times the drawing pin landed point down and the number of times the drawing pin landed point up for each person. Rachel is going to drop the drawing pin once. Whose results will give the best estimate for the probability that the drawing pin will land point up? Give a reason for your answer. So if we take a look at this table, the person whose results will give the best estimate for the probability the drawing pin will land point up will be the person who threw the drawing pin the most number of times. So what we can do for each Lucy, Mel and Tom is add together the number of times the pin landed point down and then the number of times the drawing pin landed point up. So if we start off with Lucy, the pin landed point down 31 times and the pin landed point up 14 times. So the number of throws that Lucy had will be 31 plus 14, which gives us 45. Next we can move on to Mel. The pin landed point down 53 times and the pin landed point up 27 times. So this means she had 80 throws in total. And finally, for Tom, the pin landed point down 16 times and point up 9 times. So Tom threw the pin 25 times. So therefore, Mel will give us the best estimate for the probability because Mel threw the pin the most number of times. So we can write this as our answer. So we can write that Mel will give the best estimate for the probability the pin will land point up because she threw the pin the most number of times. And this question's worth one mark and this is for our answer. Stuart is going to drop the drawing pin twice. Use all the results in the table to work out an estimate for the probability that the drawing pin will land point up the first time and point down the second time. So the first thing we'll need to do for this question is work out the probability that the pin will land point up and then the probability that the pin will land point down. So if we start off with the probability that the pin will land point up, because we're using all of the results in the table, so our probability that the pin will land point up will be equal to the number of throws which landed point up divided by the total number of throws. So the number of throws which landed point up is in this row here. So it will be equal to 14 plus 27 plus 9. And then the total number of throws will be equal to 45 plus 80 plus 25. And if we simplify this down, this will give us an answer of 50 over 150. And we can use the same process for the probability that the pin will land point down. So the pin landed point down 31 plus 53 plus 16 times. And the total number of throws is still 150. And again, if we simplify this down, this gives us 100 over 150. So now the final thing we'll need to do is multiply these two values together. And this is because we want to find the probability that the drawing pin will land point up the first time and then point down on the second time. And if we put 50 over 150 multiplied by 100 over 150 into our calculator, it gives us a probability of 2 over 9. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for working out the probability the pin will land point up and also point down. And we'll get our second mark for the correct answer.